Task management in Obsidian has worked relatively well from the beginning. You can add tasks, the task plugin adds a lot of extra functionality to the app, but one thing that has been lacking quite a bit is the ability to plan, and specifically, time block your tasks. Morgan just released a new feature for their calendaring app that allows you to connect your Obsidian Vault and sync the tasks within it into Morgan so you can plan them and time block your day accordingly. Let's dive in and check it out. But first, if you're new to this PKM space and you're interested in learning more about how to get started, how to take good quality notes, I have a free gift for you. It's called PKM Kickstart. It's a five day email course where you sign up, you get an email once a day for a week that gives you the basic information that I have learned over the last number of years that can get you kickstarted on your personal knowledge management journey. If you're interested in joining, click on the link below and sign up today. If you haven't seen Morgan before, it is basically a calendar app with the ability to manage tasks, do booking links and things of that sort. What's really nice about Morgan is that similar to apps like Sunsama, you get the ability to pull in tasks and information from other tools, there are integrations. You can use ClickUp, Todoist, and so forth. This update to Morgan actually brings the ability to sync an Obsidian Vault tasks right into your Morgan task interface. Let me show you how to get this set up. First and foremost, I have my demo Obsidian Vault here. This is one we're going to be working off of. I'll show you exactly how to get it going. The very first thing that you need to do inside of your Obsidian Vault before you touch Morgan is you have to install the Obsidian Tasks plugin. To do that, we go to Community Plugins, Browse, Search for Tasks, and then you can see it's already installed. You'll hit Install, Enable, and then you can go into Options. This is important too, because Morgan's integration requires the tasks emoji format. So if you've installed the task plugin previously and you changed it to data view, then the Morgan integration won't work. You'll have to revert that back. You can change other settings here if you like, it won't have an impact on Morgan's integration. Now let's head on over to Morgan. To get this integration set up, you go to your preferences, which is uh, command comma, I'll go down to local integrations, Obsidian, which already shows up. And then here you can connect it to a vault. Again, you can see the requirements listed out here, the Obsidian task plugin and the emoji task format. We'll connect it to a vault. I'm going to use my demo vault and hit open. Then you can see there's a section here on imported tasks. What we're going to do is we're going to import all tasks from all notes. You can also have it only import tasks from notes in the last 30 days. This is a key one here because Morgan requires each task inside of your vault to have an individual unique ID associated with it. You can generate this ID manually if you prefer inside of Obsidian, but if you're gonna use this for task planning and overall time blocking your schedule, it's probably best if you just have Morgan handle this for you. What this will do is that when you create a new task inside of Obsidian, this will automatically, when it syncs it into Morgan, add the ID so you don't have to go through that extra step or use a macro tool like Quick Add to add the ID for you, which you can do if you prefer to do so, if you have more granularity in your vault. Next, we'll install the Morgan Tasks plugin. I'll hit install on that. And then you can see down here is that it was recently installed. So we'll go back into Obsidian, go into Community Plugins. Let's see here, refresh. There's Morgan Tasks. We'll turn it on, check out settings. Now the setting here is basically to enable hiding the ID. So we just talked about creating the IDs on the tasks. So that it doesn't clutter up your vault, this plugin will uh, hide them for you. So there's basically hide completely or you can replace them with an emoji. We will turn this to hide completely. And then back into Morgan, there's a couple other options here such as you can ignore a directory. So for example, if you have a templates directory that has some pre-populated tasks in it, you can have it completely ignore that so it doesn't mess with your templates and then you can have it set a done date on completed tasks if you prefer. And then lastly, you can disconnect your vault. 
What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into Obsidian now and add a couple of tasks. I like to add a hotkey for tasks when I'm using it. So I'm gonna go into the options, hit hotkeys, search for tasks, and I'm going to hit create or edit task here. I'm just gonna do command shift semicolon just for a quick, easy shortcut. You can also just do command P and then type task if you're wanting to go that route. This brings up the task creation menu here where you can add all of your extra metadata to it. There, I'll show you another way you can create tasks that's a little bit easier as well. So we're going to say, create a video on the super note nomad, which hopefully that will be happening in the very near future. Um, I'll hit down uh, the enter key to add a new task. Now you can see because of the task plugin being installed here that there's a bunch of metadata you can add. So basically if you create a checkbox anywhere, so you can do dash bracket space space creates the uh, checkbox for you and you start typing in creating another task. You get a bunch of metadata that is added that you can add to the task automatically here. And again, you can generate the ID just by hitting enter on this if you prefer. I'm gonna leave these three tasks here and we're gonna go back into Morgan. Now, since we've connected the vault to Morgan through the integration, you can see on the tasks here, these are, this section here is the tasks that you've added to Morgan directly. But you can see that there's the obsidian icon that's now added here in the upper left. If we click on that, then you can see that we have tasks for each one of the tasks that we've added. Fantastic, right? So I'm going to click and drag this over to an open block on my calendar. And you can see it's now scheduled. There is an Obsidian link right here. And if I click on this, there is a link directly back to this note in Obsidian. So if I clicked on that, it'll take me right to the note. This is really handy if you are managing projects across multiple different notes and you have information that's contextual to the task, you can pull it right back into that note very quickly and easily from Morgan. You don't even have to think about this. The way that I've done this in the past is grabbing a unique URL from uh, a tool like Things or OmniFocus and pasting it into Obsidian or vice versa. But you don't even have to think about it with this integration, which is something that I haven't seen executed very well yet in the Obsidian space. But Morgan really, I think, has the right idea here. And you can see there's other metadata here that you can change on the calendar and event anyway. If you check it off inside of Morgan, it will show up as checked off inside of Obsidian. If we come back here, it'll take a second for it to update. You can see there it is. And if you check it off inside of Obsidian, it will be checked off inside of Morgan. That's really all there is with this integration between Obsidian and Morgan. If you're already using Obsidian to manage some task or you're capturing some tasks there, and you're looking at a tool like Sensama or Morgan for being your planning dashboard for your day or your week, this makes aggregating all of this information in one place so much easier. I know for myself, I don't manage all of my tasks in Obsidian, but sometimes I would capture something in there. And in the past, I've had to migrate it out or try to figure out how do I keep things in Obsidian and just use Obsidian all in versus using another tool that may make sense like Todoist or ClickUp for bigger projects or more collaborative projects. We're all using a lot of tools these days to manage work. And this integration with Obsidian and Morgan, plus Morgan's integration with all of these other tools in the productivity space really helps create a centralized place you can execute on your day from. Now, if you're interested in getting this integration, you do have to pay for Morgan's pro plan at $9 per month, which is an early bird price. You can get a free trial of it. And if you're interested in signing up, I have an affiliate link in the description below. 
if you use that, we get a small kickback from uh, Morgan just as a thank you. So if you wanna support the channel, use that link. Now there are a lot of uses like task management that you can have for a tool like Obsidian. It functions really well as an all-in-one tool if you're inclined to use it as such. But more importantly, how do you avoid a tool like Obsidian turning into a digital junk drawer? If you're interested in learning more about that, check out this video over here.